Dana Coverstone had another dream. Not only has he had one dream, he's had several, and I think the most recent one he's had was October. I'm not here to talk about, really talk about Dana and his dream. I want to tell you an experience that just recently happened to me. Is the devil real? Oh, I believe the devil is real. Absolutely, I believe the devil is real. Do you need to be scared in these times? Christians, no, you have God on your side. If you don't have God on your side, I would worry because the devil is scary. I was editing one of the videos I made on Dana and his dreams, talking about God and how people can come to God. Well, in the middle of my edit, when it started to say how you can come to God, what you need to do, my, my computer, in the edit, it, it went crazy. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I, I recorded it. I got my phone out and I recorded this because I wanted you to see it. I wanted I wanted you, you to see it because the devil is real. So right here, I'm going to put that recording in. And then I'm going to explain what happened after you see that recording. You, oh, okay. Still happening. You can, okay, you can do that. You can do that. You do that. You do that. You do all you. You do all you. The map. Do all you. The map. This is. The map. Look at this. The map. And you want. I'm gonna get this video. I'm gonna do all. But I'm gonna do all. I'm gonna do all the believing. I do all the believing. I want. Believing. I want. I want. Like I said, I was in the middle of that edit, and all of a sudden, my screen went black. That's the first thing that happened. My screen just went black. My computer doesn't do that. I bought a brand new computer when I started my YouTube channel because I knew I'd be making videos and editing and I needed a stronger, more powerful computer. So this is an almost new computer. In the middle of that edit, you, you see my face on the screen just kind of stop, but the words keep going and the words are all jumbled and mumbled and I'm repeating myself. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. God doesn't like that. God doesn't like that at all. He loves us. Said he loves us. Said he loves the world. He loves the world. And he's there to for he's there to forgive you. Forgive you if you believe in if you believe in him. And it's just it's just creepy to listen to. It was creepy to listen to for me. I was home alone and I'm like, oh jeez. And I knew right away. I knew right away what was happening. First of all, that's never happened to me before. Ever. And I think I have almost 300 videos that I've, I've edited. I, I've edited on that computer and I've never, ever, ever once have I had a problem in an edit. Never. Never. So, when that started happening, I started feeling eerie. There was an eerie sense atmosphere in the room. It, it was eerie. It, it was eerie. I got my phone out and recorded. I shut my computer down. I did it all. Tried to open it back up. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing happened. I then got on my phone and called my friend and said, this is what's happening to me. We need to pray. And she, I sent her the recording that I had recorded. And she's like, you're getting attacked right now by the devil. I knew it. I knew I was. I called my mom said, you need to pray. You need to pray. This is what's happening to me. Pray. So I started the edit again, and it happened again, and I text my friend, and I said, I'm going to walk away. I'm just going to walk away for a little bit and see what happens. So I, did, I didn't do that. I didn't walk away, because in my brain, I thought, I am not walking away. The devil doesn't want me to put this video out there. He doesn't want it out there. I'm not walking away. So I didn't, and I started to pray. The only thing that I could think of at that time was... Our Father that art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And right then, bam, it, it started working. I hit play and it started working. The edit started working and there was a peace. I had a peace over me. There was a peace in the room. There was, there was a peace. So, the devil is real and you need to be afraid of him. And if you ever feel like you're being attacked and the only thing you can think of is our Father that art in heaven, say it. Start saying it. Start praying it. Call your friends. Say, I need some help. I need some help. I feel like I'm getting attacked. 
help me pray. I want to tell you something else that happened to me yesterday. I just, when, I, when I've made videos like this about Dana or his dreams or anything, I have this strong feeling I can't I can't even explain it I can't explain it this strong feeling of Michelle you need to make a video you need to make a video and just tell them how to come to me that that's all that's it so yesterday that's I started to get this feeling and I'm like okay I'll, I'll do it I'll do it I always do it when I get this feeling I'll I'll do it but what do you want me to say what should I talk about what what in the midst of me praying about this last night I fell asleep and I woke up this morning at 7 o'clock and at 7 30 I got a text and I'm like wow how God works is phenomenal 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 I got a text from a person that I care deeply about and this person is a godly person godly godly she is precious sweet and godly well I got this text from her and and said Michelle I had a dream uh, and I want to tell you about it and I'm like okay all right and I'm gonna I'm gonna read here I have my phone I'm gonna read to you word for word what she said in this dream absolutely you can I asked her permission that was her response saying I can't share this I was standing in the ark. The door was ajar, only open just a crack. There was only that amount of time before the door was shut and I and Christ returned. I could see people outside of the ark that needed to get in, but time was so short before the door completely closed. And I'm looking at this and I'm praying about this and it's like the door was open a crack. Right now, Right now, that door on the ark is open just a crack. Just just a crack. And Jesus is saying, find me and come in. Find me and come in before I shut that ark door. So right now, the people that you hear talking about this, the prophecies about, or the dreams about what's to come in the future, God is warning us because he has that arc door open only a crack and he wants you to come in that crack he wants you in the in the ark God wants you in the ark he doesn't want you left behind because it's gonna get ugly when, when it's gonna get ugly the people that are left behind it's it's going to get ugly and in that ark is beautiful it's beautiful we are promised to have streets of gold our bodies everything we're gonna be perfect why wouldn't you want to be perfect and why wouldn't you want to live in a perfect space in a perfect world find Jesus get through the crack in that door because you don't want to be late too late you don't want to be too late before that door shut so pastor Dana Coverstone and what he's doing he's telling people get in the ark get in the ark get in the ark before the ark closes